Because I'm going to keep talking about it. I'm going to keep coming out and talking yeah. about the Federal Reserve. Yeah. And they won't ignore us anymore. You saw the end of Fed videos, right? Yeah, I saw um, I saw the two of them. I like the first one a lot. Which one? Uh, this one that you did. Oh, okay. The, uh, I had a big chunk with me at the end with the bullhorn going, doing the thing I like to do. Did a lot of people see it? Do you like? Did you get any feedback from it? Um, I'm definitely getting a lot of feedback from it. Um, I don't know as far as public exposure. Uh, there was a good amount of people that did pass through, but it wasn't exactly. But you know, we're at the foot of the beast where we have to start the message. Yeah. You know? we got, I got some, some plans coming up. And we're going to be going like downtown cross and Faneuil Hall. And, I mean, the occupiers have, in a, in a lot of way, pushed a lot of ground. Um, that we should be definitely taking advantage of. I mean, if they can do obnoxious things, and I don't want to block traffic, not for no reason. If we have like thousands and thousands of people, then we'll talk about blocking traffic. But some of the things, like going to downtown Cross and just camping in the middle of the day with the bullhorns going, talking to the crowd, they can do it, so can we. So we're going to go do that. So a lot more Boston at the Fed happening? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the stop. Cool. What, um, well, you went down to that rally with uh, Coke Cash for the free speech, anti-profanity thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, 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 tell us more about that. Uh, we were talking about on the show today. Yeah, well, you know, basically it was the, the free speech demonstration um, in Middleborough. And, you know, Adam Coke Cash put out the call um, to patriots around the area, especially, you know, come down to Middleborough because this town is talking about a $20 fine on specific uh, words that still haven't been determined yet. Um, so, you know, put out the call. And one hell of a day for, for a rally, too. We had that near, like, monsoon, hurricane, downpour coming, that whole drive down there. So I'm surprised anybody even turned out. But, well, we had, what, like, 30, 30 people in favor that drove through a wall of water to get to Middleborough, Massachusetts, that probably most of them have never heard of. <laughs> I think it's like 30 people. There's about 30 concerned residents that are there, like, oh, my God, what the hell are these people doing in my town? On a day like this, <laughs> yeah, it was good. You know, we got media attention, which is important because this bill has to go to Coakley, and or it's not a bill; it's a town law. But it's left to be town approved by the attorney general of the state as to whether or not it's in line with the constitution of the state and the country. Um, so, you know, I don't think it's going to go anywhere, especially because of the publicity that he caused. Wow. But so, if you can get people talking about it, you already won. That's you know that's the name of the game. Is you get people talking about it. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as they talk about what you want them to talk about. And uh, the Republican National Convention coming up. I uh, I'm not a what, August. I'm a registered pirate. Man. Are you going down there? I'm not. No. Uh, Frank Capone is my good buddy. Yeah. Real good buddy, Frank Capone is. Uh, he's going down there. There was a, a rumor actually, but he's definitely going down. He still hasn't been knocked out of the contention. Cool. And what, uh, do you talk to Cole Cash anymore about what he's going to be doing down there and some of the other activities he's working on? Uh, you know, I have no um, direct connection to Cole Cash. Okay. Like, I've never actually, like, I talked to him a couple minutes down in Middleborough, uh, but that's the first time I've actually been in the same spot as him. So that was a big thing, too, is I kind of wanted to meet him. I mean, that was cool because it was so little people that it was like, hey, I can actually talk to him for a couple minutes about, like, the Fed and stuff. His bullhorn had a couple of the Fed stickers, but apparently that wasn't even his bullhorn. And to halfway through, I had to give him my bullhorn because uh, the bullhorn they had sucked. Like the batteries were dying on it. So I gave him my Thundermaker. And, and people had no problem hearing anymore. <laughs> but they only took the pictures with the old one. Oh, Mine yeah. has all kinds of crazy on it. Media lies. Don't try it on me. I got marijuana leaves on the other side. I've got anti-war this and justice and impeach. And, yeah, they took the other one. Just had a couple mild, more mild stickers. Cool. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Everyone, I have the Fed. You deserve transparency.